This is McDonald's Kung Fu Panda 2 Happy Meals Toy Number 4 and I have Shifu's score of skill. Here is the figure along with his student and let me give you a look at uh, what he looks like inside the bag if you are buying this uh, toys from McDonald. Here is said uh, toy number four. There's the logo and down here is the name. So very cool. And uh, we have the figure and the dragon skull. Dragon skull is molded into this ball game structure that has a curvy bottom. And uh, you can see the uh, detail of the dragon's body. And inside there are two balls. How odd is that? So anyway, um, the figure is completely out of scale as, to, as comparing to Pose and uh, Master Tigret. But he's not the only one. Monkey and Mantis are also out of scale. They are they are all too big comparing to Pose and Tigret. Uh, the figure is hollow. I have to say it is very hollow inside, and it feels very light. But on the outside, it got all the sculpting, pain, and and the look itself is very accurate. I just say it's very good. You know, they even got the uh, the tail, even though the ribbon should have been painted black. Yeah, but they uh, uh, they omitted that. So from the second movie, he has this uh, green. I can't. Uh, well, I guess like the uh, Grand Master rope. Uh, so he got that now instead of the regular one that he wore in the first movie. So very nice. He's in a pose. No articulation. No gimmick. No nothing. So, but and, you know he still make a good display piece. You know, uh, let's hope he fights a little bit more in the movie. So with this one, this one, uh, the gimmick on this one is also a challenge that comes with this figure. As I forgot to mention. With the monkey, you have to, um, with his gimmick, you have to see how many flip that he can do in a row, or you can make him do in a row. And uh, with Tigret, you have to balance her, and well, the rest is just balance. And here is the uh, instruction that's shown that you can take the figure on to the uh, dragon scroll. And here are the A figures. Of the McDonald toys, and uh, if you want to see that, you can pause the video right there. So you have to spin. Uh, well, you have to spin the dragon scroll like that, uh, with the uh, with the center area as the uh, spinning point. So you have to do that, and you have to you have to try and get these two balls to stay at the two opposite ends of the dragon scroll. But there is a boundary or, or, or a line that separates uh, the two ends and the uh, center area. But the line is a little bit too low. It doesn't help to keep the ball there. Even if you spin, I, I mean, even if you spin it like that, I have to admit it's a good strategy to get uh, those two to the two sides. But that line doesn't help the ball to stay there. So it is very difficult, even if you spin this thing as many times as you want, they are not going to be there. So that's why this thing is a challenge. So, But if you can do it, it will be great. I haven't done it, but uh, you know, maybe someday. You can get one of the ball there, but not two. Uh, but anyway, if you love the second movie, you know, you have to get Shifu in order to to complete the whole set but I had to say that this is a figure that you can live without you don't really have to get him but if you want to display him with the uh, with uh, with the furious fire and pose you can go ahead and get him he costs a little bit over two dollars at your local McDonald's fast food restaurant uh, you know he will make a nice display piece even though there's no articulation uh, he still looks nice so if you feel the need, um, if you feel the need of getting him, go ahead and get him. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't really, really recommend him. So uh, get him if you want. So there you go. Thanks for watching.